I'm Pam, and I'll be your guide as we look at setting up a process queue. Process queues are a great way to automate anything you do with people at your church. For example, you can automate steps of your assimilation process or automate the steps needed for a volunteer application process. Let's take a look. Every process you create needs to be broken down into steps. So as you begin, we suggest taking some time to write down the steps of your process, either on paper or in an application of your choice. Once you have those steps listed, log into the Church Community Builder system. You'll need to have either process admin privileges or be the master administrator to create a process. Click the More link on the left and choose Process Queues. Click the Create a New Process button and then enter the name of the process. All the information in a process queue is visible to anyone with full read privileges. So if you need to create a more sensitive process, click the Hidden Process checkbox. Now only the process managers and queue managers of that process can see who is in that process or read the private notes. Remember that anyone with a process admin privilege can still see all processes. Now that the process is created, refer back to your list of queue steps and begin entering each of them into the system. Click the Add a New Queue on the right to begin. You can add new queue steps anytime that you need, even after you've begun using the process. Use the reorder queues to move your items around in the order which best helps you manage the process. Make sure to add a process manager once the queue steps are entered. The process manager has the ability to create, edit, and delete queue steps as well. The other action items will definitely come in handy later on in the process lifecycle, so don't forget about these. Now that you've entered each queue step, you have a basic outline of the process. It still does not have the automation yet, so this is more of a skeleton outline than a working process at this point. You will now need to click on the Each Queue step and click the Edit This Queue link to determine how each queue operates within the whole process. The General tab lets you enter the description and instructions for this step. Be as detailed as you can. The longer you use this queue, the more helpful it will be to know why you are doing this particular action item. The Details tab lets you decide on the due date for the person in this step. The due date is relative to when you add a person to the queue. So if you choose 30 days later, it is 30 days from the day that the person is added. There are multiple options for determining the due date, so make sure and select the one that is right for your step. The Notify When Due setting will send an email out in however many days before the due date that you enter. In this example, the manager of the queue will get an email two days before the due date, and the notification bell at the top will have the red dot letting them know someone has become due in their queue. Finally, the Notify When Assigned checkboxes send an email to the managers whenever someone is added to their queue. The Automation tab is very powerful in setting up a queue. People in the queue can be automatically added to a group, position, or event. Their membership type can be updated along with their baptism checkbox, and you can even send a mail merge automatically to the members of a queue. The queue sequencing allows you to move this person to the next step in the process after this step is complete. In fact, you can even move them to another process if needed. Remember that this automation does not occur until a person is marked as done in the queue. Click Saved when you are finished. Once you've edited the queue, click the Add a Queue Manager to add the staff or key volunteers who will manage this step. You can have as many managers as needed, and each manager will only see enough people profile details to accomplish their task. So feel free to use key volunteers as managers here. Repeat the above for each queue you created. Use the information icon to make sure that the queue is designed the way you need it. Once complete, you can have a process where each queue can be managed by a different person and each time that one queue is completed, 
the system automatically move those people to the next step and even notify the new manager of the people in their queue. There you have it. Process queues are a great way to automate tasks you do on a regular basis with people at your church. Whether it be tracking first time guests or keeping on the progress of a mission trip preparation. For more information about process queues, see our other videos and help articles. Mm -hmm.